In previous videos, I tried my hand at making a patch that sounds like David Hislop's DH Bethel patch. If you thought I'm immune to the gas bug, I'm sorry, I did a thing. It's the spot that ignites gear acquisition syndrome. And when you're on the lookout for a good deal, you're willing to part with cash when the price drops below a certain threshold. For me, that was a 30% discount that David Hissop offered during the 4th of July sale. The time had come. I bought his signature Bethel and the orange rocker patches, and I have to say, they are amazing. Indeed, the best products for musicians are those that inspire us to play more and sound better. I'm happy to report that David's patches accomplishes these objectives. Let's talk about what I found inspiring about the patches. David's experience with professional recording and touring is reflected in the subtleties of effect parameters that change with every foot switch assignment. When you do get these patches, do study the README thoroughly. There's a lot going underneath the hood. On that note, I highly recommend keeping multiple copies of the patch and having backups of backups. With these patches, changing one block to something else has a ripple effect on the overall tone because of the sheer number of parameter changes. Caveat mTOR. Secondly, the way that the wet section is dialed in for the DH Pathel patch alone is worth the price of emission. My ears aren't that great, and the pre-amp wet section saturation is something that I'm not yet used to dialing in properly. I've had a few patches that claim to have nailed the Bethel wet section, but none have come close to this level of finesse. The DH Bethel patch is truly the standard. Here are things to look out for. Firstly, David sets the volume pedal before the amp section at a maximum setting of 92%, which he has stated is his preferred way of adjusting the patch to match different guitars hitting the front end of the amps. He must have guitars with higher output pickups because when I tried my guitars with the patches, my Tele, Strat, and Dual Jet have the same problem. They're too soft hitting the amps. If this happens to you, don't rush off to get a refund from David. Try instead to max out the volume pedal setting to 100%. Just a small nudge like that changes the feel of the whole patch. Secondly, if you're a tweaker who loves to tinker and adjust things to your liking, be prepared to make a lot of changes if you do decide to swap out effect blocks. As mentioned earlier, every effect block is interconnected to each other by an intricate array of changes assigned to each foot switch. In my opinion, leave the patch as is and make adjustments only to match guitar pickups to amp breakup. Besides, you paid good money for David's expertise. Which leads us into today's bonus. I have a Bethel patch pack that's my take on David's sound and it's available on my Buy Me A Coffee page linked in the description box below. I'll put side by side comparisons of David's patch versus mine and if you like what you hear from my patch, please consider downloading it as it will really help me out in maintaining this channel and my day-to-day -day expenses. The patch pack is dialed in using stock caps so they're ready right out of the box and contains both Helix and HX Storm patches. While the HX Storm patches are not stereo amp setups, I've attempted to capture the essence of the Bethel sound by having a delay set up before the amp for some wet section saturation. Side note, I've recently been able to buy groceries and food deliveries from my BMC earnings, so you guys are making the dream come true. For that, my family sends our heartfelt thank you.
That's it for me. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to share it with someone who you know is looking at buying patches from David Tesla. I've linked them in the description box as well as my patches. Until we meet again, I'm Justin and I'm all about the ship guitar.